Hello students, welcome to the class. This is your English class and as you all know we are studying Chandani chapter number 7 from your An Alien Hand supplementary reader book. We have completed all three parts of the story and today we are going to start the last paragraph of third part and after that we will solve comprehension check and few questions we will complete today. So I am going to read the last two paragraph of this chapter. The third part of the story. You just take out your book. Page number 51. Page number 51. And I am going to read from the first race to is the winner. The first rays of the sun saw Chandni lying on the ground. She was completely soaked in blood. The wolf, tired and sleepy, was getting ready to devour her. An assembly of birds perched on top of the tree nearby was debating the result of the fight. Who is the winner? Vandama asked. The wolf, of course. Most of them said, a wise old bird declaimed with confidence, Chandni is the winner. As you all know, this beautiful story is written by Jakir Hussain. And you can see in this story a vivid description of nature and spirit of freedom. Now here I am going to explain these two paragraphs. In the closing paragraph of the story, we find the writer present the message of courage, the message of courage of Chandani about the will to fight and win against odds in shape of Chandani. I think this is a very motivational passage or paragraph for us also because always we are having some hard times in our life and then we just lose our heart and just we are get disappointed. So always learn the lesson from this Chandani. And here you can see and it is through some small birds that the writer finally deliver the message that Chandani through these small birds the, na the narrator or you can say writer delivered the message for us. That Chandani, though lost the fight, yet she had emerged the winner. Some birds had come and sat on a nearby tree and witnessed the last scene of this phase. The phase of fight between Chandani and the wolf. Now they were seeing Chandni lying on the ground and soaked in blood. From the wound she had sustained during the fight. Seeing the whole fight, the birds started to discuss among themselves as to who the winner was. And most of them, which was obvious, it was the wolf who had won that battle. But among them was one wise bird who thought otherwise and said to her fellow birds, 
that the true winner of the battle is Chandini. Of course, the winner was Chandini because she fought bravely. The goat because she had fought the cunning wolf against all odds. Nothing was in the goat's favor. But still she stood up against the wolf bravely and fought a brave fight. In the end, the story also gives us another message that we should listen to the advice given to us by the elders. I think this is the message from the narrator to us that we have to listen advices and suggestions of our elders. We should listen to our elders if Chandini had listened to Abu Khan advice not to go to the forest. She would still be alive and safe in the house. So venturing out or going out into the unknown or something that glitters like gold can be deceiving and going after can be fatal at times. So this is the other aspect of a story which we get in the character of Chandani. We have seen a lot of things, a lot of quality you can see in the character of Chandani that she was adamant or you can say she was fought for her dignity. And on the other hand, you can see the character of uh, Abu Khan. He was so passionate about goats. And that two main character of this story can reveal each and every aspects of life experiences. One hand, an old man is there always ready to protect his goats. But at the other hand, you can see the goats. All are ungrateful. So this message from the narrator in this story is that we have to listen, we have to be grateful to our elders, to our parents. Mm -hmm. Because this is very important for us. Be grateful. And if you see the character of Chandani, you can see Chandani was fond of freedom. She wanted to free from all the obstacle and all the hindrance. And now here you can realize that her mistake because she was not ready to listen any advice, any suggestion of Abu Khan. So this message we can learn that we should always respect our elders and obey their advices. And the second I think a very good message from this story that we should love animals and we should take care of animals. And the third message in this story is that we should fight for our dignity because if uh, Self-respect is there, so you can find yourself a whole person or full human being. If you don't have self-respect, so there is no use of your life. So be respectful in society and do 
those work the work which give a strength to your family and your society also so from this message message i would like to conclude this chapter this is wonderful chapter and we have learned a lot from this chapter now we are moving to some question and answers which are not given in your textbook but we will solve today because these are very short type of the question and from these question we can understand better so i am going to write some short answer type questions and you just write down in your copy and then we will solve the comprehension check which are given in your book now write down short answer type questions and we are going to complete two question we have already done short type of the question and few question we are going to complete today so write down where did abu khan live where did abu khan live now answer is abu khan lived in almora now next question what are the what were the funny names of abu abu khans goats so now here you can write you have seen in the text also mungia kalua and gujri and gujri were the names of were the funny names of abu khan goats to write down abu khan lived in almora and second question mungia kalua and gujri were the funny names of abu khan's goat now we are moving to the third question write down abu khan lived in almora and mungia kalua and gujri were the funny names of abu khan now third question third question question number 3 third is write down what was the name of young goat what was the name of young goat as you all know the name of young goat was chandni chandni was the name 
of young goat. Now we are moving to question number four. Question number four is what did Abu Khan forget to close? What did Abu Khan forget to close? What did he forget to close? He forget to close window. Now answer we are going to write over here. Answer Abu Khan forgot to close window. Now we are moving to next question. The next question is who met question number five who met Chandni on the on the slopes of the hills now answer you can write herd of goats a group of wild goats a group of wild goats Met Chandni on the slopes of the hill. Slopes of the hills. So these short type of the questions we have completed. We have com completed seven questions. Two questions we have already done, and these five questions we should write. So, write down these questions, and after that, we will solve comprehension check. Now, you can find comprehension check on page number 51. First question, why did Chandni refuse to join the group of wild goat? Now, we are going to write the answer. Comprehension check, answer number one. Answer number one, while roaming on the hills, On the hills, Chandni met met with the herd of goats. The herd asked her. to join to join the group Ch but chandni re 
refused to do so. As freedom was a new thing to her, a new thing, thing to her, and she wanted, and she wanted. To enjoy it enjoy it to fullest. The question was that why did Chandni refuse to join the group of wild goats? Now here you can see, while roaming on the hills, Chandani met with the herd of goats. The herd asked her to join the group, but Chandani refused to do so as freedom was a new thing to her and she wanted to enjoy it to fullest. Now this way you can write the answer. Now after solving this first question, we are moving to the second question comprehension check question number 2 chandni fought the wolf because she was stronger than the wolf or she hated the wolf and the third one is had to retain her freedom at all cost so what do you think which is correct option now I am going to write the answer before going to write the answer I would like to ask a question what is suitable option for Chandni? Chandni fought the wolf because she was stronger than wolf? No, I don't think she was stronger. But she was having a lots of courage to fight with this savage animal. Now, hated the wolf? Not at all. She never met, met uh, that wolf. So, so why she was going to hate with that wolf? Now third one, had to retain her freedom at all costs. I think this is correct because at any cost she wanted freedom and she wanted to retain her freedom. Now after this question we are going to write another one. So, we are going to choose third option. This is question answer number two. And we are going to choose third option. Had to retain. Had to retain. Her freedom. Her freedom at all cost. Had to retain her freedom at all cost. Now, after solving this two comprehension check, we have to uh, solve these exercises which are based on our discussions. So, uh, because it is discussion, so we have to discuss first these questions and then we will write the answer. Now, the first question, why did the wise old bird say Chandani is the winner? And for the giving the answer, you can see last two paragraphs, which I have already explained you, that the first rays of the sun saw Chandani lying on the ground. She was completely soaked in blood. The wolf, tired and sleepy, was getting ready to devour her. An assembly of birds perched on top of a tree nearby was debating the result of the fight. Who is the winner? 
One of them asked, the wolf, of course. Most of them said, a wise old bird declaimed with confidence, Chandani is the winner. Yes, of course, Chandani is the winner because she fought a very brave fight with that fires or you can say the ferocious wolf that was very you can say a very courageous task she was done so that is why the old bird has announced that the winner is chandini we should think like this because if we have read this uh, story and the chapter was explained, you can understand the courage of that Chandani. So now we are going to write the answer. Now, exercise. This question is from exercise, discuss. But we are going to write the answer first. Why did the wise old bird say Chandani is the winner? The wise old bird said said Chandani is the winner because Chandani was Chandani was a brave goat as you all know and those smaller those smaller in size with the ferocious wolf ferocious wolf until the dawn in the size with the ferocious wolf she fought she fought until the dawn what a courageous goat she was until the dawn it means whole night. Now, so we can say, so we can say, Chanini was the winner. Not wolf. On the basis of the feeling or you can say the courage, we can say the Chandani was the winner. Wolf was not. Now we are moving to the second question. Death is an open field. Better than life in a small hut. Chandani said to herself. Was it the right decision? Give reason for your answers. Now here we can understand the dialogues which is given by Chandani in this story. That is an open field is better than life in a small hut. So when she saw the danger in the hills 
she realized that she has done mistake to run away from the house of Abu Khan but still she was full of courage and she was fond of spirit of freedom that is why she said over here that is an open field is better than life in a small head because this dialogue is showing her spirit of freedom she was fond of freedom she did not want to stay in the small hut because there she felt a feeling of captivity there she felt a feeling of captivity there she did not do anything without the permission of abu khan whatever abu khan was provided her that she should eat whatever abu khan told her she should listen that type of the feeling she thought that time the feeling of captivity she wanted to break this that is why she accepted over her death not the small hut so this way we can write the answer because this exercise is based on discussion we can discuss in the online classes also that why she said so why she thought this line the hut is not better place for me death in the open area is much better than the small hut we will discuss in the class also but we have to write the answer we have already discussed this question and in explanation i have told you that the courage of that little cute chandani so we will solve the answer in next video we are going to solve the answers because these questions these two questions are very important for us to understand the feeling behind this so we need more time to discuss so first of all we will discuss this then we are going to solve these answers so write down all the question and answer which we have done today and learn also so that's all for today have a good day